Ban Chi simply means the woman uh, fairy. She is sort of translation to English as fairy. You know. Oh, the band she was in it all right. Mm. <laughs> Just in voice, all in voice, coming up here. And she'd come in the night and keen that she's called, you know. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, she's supposed to look like, what is it, a uh, woman all in white, long white robes flowing in the wind, no uh, physical form, long hair down to her knees which just blows in the wind and she's not supposed to have any actual facial features, you're not supposed to be able to define that now. Well the banshee would have that nose anyway, you know, yelling like a cat. I said, I, I had the banshee one night, I was healing me one, that's 14 years of age. And the father went nice and able the mind clashed, and then Jim that night, then he passed on. That's all I was to tell you, like. I just heard the banshee crying, that's all. And that was more to, I just heard the, the person crying down there. In the night, of, that night, and it wasn't a human. But that was that more to tell you. Like, I shall have presumed to the bad she. I mean, the following night, the following evening, the chap crashed, and he passed on in June that night. So I think there must be something in that, isn't there? I don't know. Do you? What she put your helm, you pa? What she got the helm, you pa? Woman that passed on be generations before that, I don't know. She must have some contact with the next fault. A person that there was another person that's passing on. So now, where do you go from here? So I actually thought somebody must have been literally tying a cat up and strangled or something, you know. But I went out onto the, you know, the window with my lump of turf and uh, there was nobody there, nothing there, but you could hear this way and suddenly my hair began to stand up and I thought, Jesus Christ, that's really strange. Uh, I did the best thing, which is to get under the bed, cover my head and try to block it out, you know. But the next morning anyway, I got up and uh, there was a bang on my door, Mrs. Cummins come up the stairs to tell me that Frank had died. And I said, how do you know that? And she said, oh, I know it, I know it. Poor Frank is dead, he's after dying. Now, Frank lived in New York. We were living in Dublin, you know. And uh, three days later, a telegram arrived to say Frank had died at that particular point in time, you know. So since then, I thought that was definitely a banshee. That's the only time I've ever heard anything like that in my life. But don't ask me to explain it. No idea. Apparently, when he was getting this hay, and he was getting it, I suppose, well, he shouldn't be getting it, maybe, but uh, he heard the banshee, and he dropped everything and ran home, and he was as white as a sheet, and he was frightened out of his life, and he got an awful fright. But, like, and somebody in the area, somebody belonged to him had died on the night, now, as it so happened. Now, believe it or not, it could be anything. My two aunts, they saw her. You know, they're cutting cabbage, you say, in the yard or something. It was summer's evening. And she came along and passed them by. Mm -hmm. And she came in her hair. She took no notice that they didn't appear like. Mm. Ah, oh, they used to believe long ago that all right, you know. Yeah. When a person that would be passing on, yeah. She was supposed to be sitting there and combing her hair and crying out, you know. It's a very consoling belief. It's a very nice one. Very consoling. It's family. 
It's the idea that uh, it's one of your ancestors, that somebody has come to take you away, that somebody is going to cross over with you and you join the community of the dead of your ancestors on the other side. At least that's how people have worked it out down over the centuries. So you're not going in your own. You're accompanied by one of your own. So it, it fits in with people's desires and requirements and a sense of identity and, and so on. And then being the protectoress of the land, being the goddess of war. So you have many dimensions, many imaginations and conceptions of the other world. It's the land of women. It's the land of the dead. All the old people long ago, you know, they had all them stories and everything, you know, but today every road is so busy with cars and everything, they must have killed them all. That's why I say, you know, the tragedy is that thousands and thousands of these stories have been lost just because the old people haven't been got in time. They all have an interest in it, you know what I mean? It's folklore, it's interesting, you know what I mean? Not many people my age do now, but it's fun, you know what I mean? There's more in this world than we think about. Than, than we know about. I'm convinced of that. That's Ireland, yeah. That's Ireland. Uh, God help us. Them are the days. Give me my boots and 